twice. That's my, that's my uncle. Dozens of family and friends are demanding answers after a recent police shooting in Weathersfield. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Patricia Del Rio. The incident left Anthony Jose Vega Cruz in critical condition. Channel 3's Shante Passmore is live in Hartford with the family's message. Shante, what are they saying? Patricia, right now, the family is demanding justice. A vigil started this afternoon where there were a lot of somber faces, but it appears to be wrapping up. And I'm told right now, tonight, he's on life support. Tonight, we're getting our first look at the driver involved in the Weathersfield police shooting. This is 18-year-old Anthony Jose Vega Cruz. He's on the right. His family tells me they're heartbroken for him, who they call Chulo. This is devastating. This is a tragedy shot in the head two times. Our cameras rolled on a car with two bullet holes in the windshield. Also in the car, Stephanie Santiago, who's 18 too. She came out to the vigil, but didn't want to talk on camera. But she says police didn't have to shoot him like that. State police say two Weathersfield officers attempted to stop the driver. Investigators say Cruz crashed into a cruiser and he started driving towards an officer and that's when police started shooting. Weathersfield police say the officer suspected the car was stolen, but state police is working to confirm that fact. An eyewitness news viewer sent us this video of what they say is the part of the incident involving the police shooting in Weathersfield. In the video, you see officers carefully approaching the car after it stops, telling the girlfriend to get out of the car. Chulo's family told Channel 3 the car was not stolen but unregistered and he was unarmed. We just want justice. We want it to stop. The incident marks the second police shooting in Connecticut. Activists involved with the demonstrations in New Haven and Hamden came out tonight to stand in solidarity. My concern is as it has been our growing concern over the last several years that we have incidents where officers shoot first and very rarely ask questions. While Chulo remains in the hospital, his family and friends say they're bracing for the worst, releasing balloons with the words, rest in peace. And again, to be clear, he is on life support and the demand for justice doesn't end here this evening. I'm told tomorrow, family and friends plan to head over to the Weathersfield Police Department. Live in Hartford this evening, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.